Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the second tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to see how we can access the Python command line uh, application and how we can use a Python GUI application or the Python IDLE and uh, we're going to make our first uh, script file and uh, in the script file we're going to have like just one line of code and uh, we're going to display a message uh, on the screen and uh, this is what we do when we learn any programming language. We make the hello world application first and the purpose of doing that is not to learn any programming trick but you know just to familiarize ourselves with the programming environment and, you know how to make a program and how to execute it and you know where we see the output and you know stuff like that so that's what we're going to do now and uh, i'll first you know uh, get my python uh, command line application and you know when i click on start i can type in python and you know you can select the python command line application from the program list and uh, you know when you click on it when you get the program up you would see this window and in the window on the first line you would see the version of python that you have currently installed on your system so on my system i have the latest version python 3.3.3 .3 installed and uh, you know uh, i see a few more uh, things like you know if i want help from python then i can type in help and press the enter key if i want to see copyright or credit or license information then i can type in these three words and press the enter key so you know there's uh, some stuff that I can do here, but what we're going to do instead is uh, type in print and then get in a pair of parentheses and within parentheses, I'll get in a pair of double quotes and within those double quotes, I'll type in my message. So let's say I want to display hello YouTubers on screen, right? A welcome message. So I'll type in that and when I press the enter key, I see that message, right? So these three symbols that you see, you know, the lesson symbols or whatever you want to call them, uh, you know, and the cursor blinking after that. This is what is known as the interactive uh, programming mode in Python, right? So this is the interpreter waiting for you to type in Python commands. And as and when you type in something and press the enter key, you know, your code, if it can be interpreted and executed, then it is done. And uh, if your code is, uh, you know, if it's got errors, then, you know, you would get traceback errors, right? So we're going to talk about that later on, but I just want to show you guys in this tutorial how you can you know just display a simple message to users on screen and you know this is what you have to do to do that and uh, if you do not want to use the python command line application or if you don't have access to it which is pretty unlikely if you've installed python correctly then you will have access to this application but in case you don't have it then you can also use the microsoft command prompt program right so i have uh, a link to that on my taskbar and when i click on that i see this and this is different from the you know python interpreter but if you guys remember in the last tutorial when we installed the python language there was a step in the installation process wherein we were asked whether we want to include the path to the python interpreter uh, in the environment variable path and uh, we checked that option right so the, the the path has been set and to invoke the interpreter all that i have to do is type in python here and when i do that and press the enter key i get the interpreter in those three symbols again Right. So if I type in print and then within parentheses and double quotes the same message, hello YouTubers, then it would be executed in the same way. So there you go. You know, I see the same message. Now, the next thing that we're going to check out is what if you do not want to program in the interactive mode, but instead you want to make a program or a script file and then execute that. So I type in the exit function that is EXIT with a set of parentheses and press the enter key to get my uh, prompt back, right? And then I'll minimize this program and open up Notepad, right? I want a text editor and uh, you cannot use Microsoft Word for this because when you create a text file using Microsoft Word, a lot of code gets saved along with your text and, you know, that code cannot be translated by the Python interpreter. So you need a simple, basic text editor program, something like Notepad or Notepad++, but as I said, you cannot use Microsoft Word and I'm sure that you have at least one text editor program installed in your system, you know, if not too many, right? So in the file, you have to type in the same thing, like print and then within parentheses and double quotes, hello, YouTubers or whatever message you want to display and then save the file. And this is what is important. You know, you can give your file any name and I'm going to call it first underscore script but the extension is very important. You cannot have any extension other than .py, right? So if you don't specify the .py extension here, then your uh, file will be saved with the .txt extension as a normal text file. 
and we don't want that you know we want the python interpreter to be able to figure out that this is actually a python script file and it has to treat it that way so i'll save it on my desktop and uh, i'll get my command prompt back and i'll change my directory to the desktop and uh, then i'll type in python and then the name of my file which is first underscore script dot py and when i do that and press the enter key i see the message hello youtubers right so uh, we haven't actually, you know, gotten in the interactive mode. You know, the Python interpreter was invoked, the file was executed, the output was fetched, it was displayed, and then the normal prompt was returned to us, and we are still not in the interactive mode, right? So this is different from what we did uh, a few minutes ago. And if you want to execute the file using the Python IDLE or the GUI application, then uh, you'll have to you know, first open that program and I have created a link to that on my taskbar here again because I know that I'll be accessing it a lot. And so you, you know, open the program and you go to file and then click on open and then uh, you go to the location where you have your file and I have it on my desktop. So go to my desktop and then double click on the file and there you go. In another window, I see the code that I have in my file. Right. So if you want to make any modification to this code, like instead of YouTubers, if you want to, you know, see hello world instead, then you type in world and then you save your file. You can press control S or you can go to file and then, you know, click on save here and then you go to run and then you click on run module. And if you want to uh, do it using your keyboard, then you can just press the key F5. And when I do that in the shell, I see the message hello world. Right, so this is how you execute a Python script file using the Python IDLE or the GUI application. And to be honest, we're not going to use the command line application much in this course. And you know, I don't think I'm going to use it at all. In fact, you know, we're just going to use this application because it's a lot more user friendly and you know, it's a lot more convenient to do things using this. So that's it for now. In the next tutorial, we're going to check out more interesting features uh, of the Python programming language. And I'm very excited about this course and uh, I'm sure we're going to have a lot of fun together. And you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you soon. Take care.